<clears throat> check, check, check. There we go. That's a little better. It's good when you plug in things. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <clears throat> where we play, <clears throat> where we clear our throat. One second. Mm. Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles. Um, welcome to uh, Friday edition of Zero Page Homebrew. Um, as you can see, I'm completely by myself, so you'll just have to put up with just me today. Hello, Lid Likes and Television, um, and hello everybody else out there in Twitch land who's watching this live. Thanks for joining in. Um, you may have noticed that in the uh, wait screen there, I was trying something a little bit different. I was um, playing around with, can I still hear an echo? I swear I can still hear an echo, but it's not too bad. Um, I was playing around with um, some demos, kind of overlaying 2600 demos over top of the screen. It kind of worked out. I tried to find, a, I was going through a couple and I found some nice ones, but they ended and didn't repeat. So I had to keep restarting them. And then I, I stumbled upon one that did have a nice repeat um, on it. So I could just leave it and overlay it for the intro. So hopefully I can find another one for next week and see if I can adjust it a bit to make it work better with, um, with the uh, weight screen there. But let's get on with the show. Today, we're going to be playing Anguna right here. Uh, now we played this. Oh, that's too close. There we go. We'll be playing Anguna today. We did play this a little while back on the show and we got fairly far. Um, we got, I think, two out of the six keys for the game. I'm going to have to refresh myself because it was a couple of months ago. And today we're going to try and get far. Uh, hopefully complete it, but I don't know. Because last time we had maybe 45 minutes to play it, but this time we have a little bit longer. Anything else in there? No. Um, so we're going to dedicate a little bit more time today to it. Um, it is a really good RPG game. Uh, we're going to go over the manual just a little bit, but let me plug it in. And also this time we have the uh, Atari Vox plugged in as well. Let's switch this over. Uh, but I don't, I'm not sure if it actually works like has any voices or anything i think it just uses the save key let me just turn up the volume over here i don't think there's any music or sound on the menu but um let's take a look at the manual just a quick refresh so i'm not stumbling around and wasting time let's see there's switches there's secrets uh, defeating all the enemies in a room may uncover a hidden, o a hidden item or open a uh, hidden door. Yeah, I remember that. Some walls are fake. Occasionally you can walk through what appears to be a solid wall. Use your map for clues to try and explore every room. Okay, we'll have to uh, make sure we do that. Uh, there's uh, meat, which actually looked like a cherry. I always thought it was cherries. Uh, bow and arrow, arrows, attack power up, defense power up, a uh, lantern winged boots dynamite ring of attack now i only think i got the attack power up and defense power up i don't think i got the lantern yet or the winged boots or the dynamites or ring of attack and i got two out of the uh six keys um there's all the rest of the items if you can see that there we go but we will know very soon. And then there's the overview map. You start in the prison dungeon. You must explore four more dungeons to defeat the Goblin King and win the game. So the Goblin King's lairs in the top left. The prison dungeons in the middle right. The second dungeons in the top right. Uh, right there. Oh, back up a bit. There we go. Up there. Uh, there. Um, it doesn't show, it has some question marks for three other things here. 
And then there's the experience chart. Gameplay tips. Use the in-game map to help you explore every room in each dungeon. Power-ups are scattered throughout the world, which you don't want to miss. And I probably, we probably missed some because we had zero. Zero of the really good ones. If you have trouble with an enemy, come back later after finding more power-ups. Not everything you need is in a dungeon. Some items and keys are hidden outside or in small caves in the overworld. Okay, so there's dungeons and caves. Uh, watch and learn each enemy enemy's patterns before attempting to fight them. Yeah, yeah. Um, visit bitethechili.com for further gameplay help. Um, okay. Excellent. Uh, Anguna 2600 is based on the game Anguna for Game Boy Advance. Interesting. Uh, he imported it. He ported it to the Nintendo DS. Oh, this this guy made this game for other systems. We must have read that last time. So this started in uh, 2014. Does it say when it got finished? Uh, it doesn't have a year on this. It would be online. But let's start by typing in the password. We did get fairly far last time and there's no point in putting that to waste. Now I do have the Atari Vox key in the system now. I'm not sure how that works with the saving. Maybe you can just turn off the system and be back exactly where you are. It would be really cool if it had multiple save spots. So that's not a super long password and it's very, fairly easy to enter. D, uh, up, 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 and the last one, three. So I guess we'll find out as we go along. I don't hear any sound, but there may not be any sound until we actually fire something. Now, I totally forget how to fire the weapon, how to switch. Um, let's just go to our inventory screen. And last time, we didn't have it all set up properly, so every time we switched that, it would blank out the screen for five seconds, but now it's fine. So our health, we have 18 out of 18. We have two keys at the top. Uh, we have our weapon level is two. Armor level is one, not so great. Our arrows is 89, and I think we maxed out at 99, so we're pretty good for arrows. Our experience is zero, so we aren't that far, actually. <laughs> um, there's the world map, so we're in the left. Uh, th yeah, we're the white square there. Uh, and then the password is at the bottom, which we just entered in. Oh, here it is. If you're planning to take a break from playing, make sure to write down the password shown on the status screen so you can enter it and s continue your game later. If you have a save key or a Atari Vox plugged in the second controller port, your password will automatically be saved to the device when you view the status screen. Okay, so when you die, don't look at the status screen. Just turn off the, <laughs> turn off the game and then it'll go back. Oh, and items found. Okay, we do have a bow, so we barely have anything. And we hardly have any experience. So I think what the best plan of attack is to actually go to the second dungeon, which is in the top right corner of the map. And we are in the very left. So let's... And we're right in front of a castle? A dungeon? Another... It looks like this is pointing to a question mark, so this is probably another dungeon. So let's... I don't hear any sound. Is there sound? Am I, like, missing stuff? Oh, there's sound. Okay. Just the monsters aren't making any sound. Which is good, because they are everywhere, and that would be very... Ugh, very annoying. Okay, so press short for the sword in the last direction you moved. Okay, yeah. And hold it 
for shooting an arrow. And I'm going to die. Oh! Oh my god. Ah! I may be dead very shortly. Um, I need to get some health. And I'm dead! Okay, what happens when you die? Uh, what happens when I start? Terrible things. Okay, let's reset and go to password and it does remember it. There we go. Okay, no problem. So if we die, what? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Make our way back. Let's actually practice a bit on... Okay. Getting the hang of it now. Getting back into the rhythm. Snakes are not too bad because... They're not all randomy moving around. Okay. Now we're going to try and go back to the second dungeon. Ugh. Whoa. There we go. There, health. Good. Which is in the... Ugh. Arrows. Not really what I wanted, but... He changes direction as soon as I... And I'm going to die again. Oh my god. Now where... I was like... Oh my god. Those guys are too random. This is terrible. I'm doing terrible. I think it's these guys that are the easy ones. And they all give the same amount of same randomness for health. So let me just max up on this guy a bit. Or not. Or I could just die. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's just get back. <laughs> Let's avoid confrontation and not die. Just make it back to the easy area. Those are hard. <laughs> hard for now. Go down, go over. Now where are we? Oh, I need to fix that. Oh, we're down. Okay, let's go up. Ugh. And around a bit. Up. We need to go to the right. Can we? A tree. Top of the tree looks brown. Is that something? No, it's not. Are these something? No. Get out of here, snakes. Up and over. And this is one of those games where you can't walk through something unless your whole body can fit through it. Okay. Which one is this? This looks like where the sec uh, prison dungeon is. Oh, sorry. I need to go to up and around. Keep going. Oh, yes. So you can't get through the trees unless your whole body can fit through them. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Now up. And I need some need some health soon. Now is this where this This looks more like the second dungeon. Okay, let's see what's happening in here. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. No, this is not a good idea. I need my lantern. It can't be the second dungeon. Maybe I should go back to the first one. 
Okay. Ah! This would be super much easier with a map, like a full map. But that would take a lot of time to draw out, and that would be super boring for everyone to watch. I need to get some health here. These guys are pretty predictable. You can't get anything. There we go. Until everything on the screen is killed. Now, is there a higher chance of getting something when there's only two guys, when there's two guys rather than one? Because that's technically harder. I need one more health, I think, to get full. Damn it. At least it gives you a little bit of time after you get hit to um, cover yourself. So you flash a bit. Which is nice. Oh, nothing. Oh, I knew it. Just... I'm like wasting energy here. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, doing stupid moves. If you didn't catch Wednesday's show, it is now archived. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Uh, it was Doodle Jump, which was super awesome. Yay! Um, and it was actually Poodle Jump, because the graphics, he uh, was experimenting with different uh, names and different graphics for the game. Hooray, just one more, without being stupid and getting hit. Um, so it's a little poodle jumping up and down. Oh, what happened? How did I get so much health all of a sudden? Can one drop? Oh, there. Okay, we're good. So let's go, um, back to the first dungeon. Oh my god. Actually, let's just go to any dungeon that doesn't have... that doesn't have darkness to make it terrible. Okay, I'm at the bottom now. I'm at the bottom. And there is something over to the right and up. Apparently on the map, at least I give you that. Can I still go to the right? And then... There, okay, let's try this one out. Oh my god. It's terrible. Ah! Hate those bugs. Too fast. Oh, oh, I need water walking. Ah, uh, get it! Ah! Nope. I need the water walking ability, obviously, to get that one. And I need some sort of boulder smasher to get that thing. Ooh, that was a good, a good one to get. Ooh, wrong plane. Arrows are good. Arrows are good. Yeah, this is a good one to load up on. If I could shoot straight. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it, not dying immediately. Just have to make sure that if I do want to load up on something, that it's going to be on some an easy guy, and I'm not too stupid about it. Maybe I did want to go in that castle that I started on, or did I go in and it was dark? Now I can't remember. Well, I have to cross across the water here. Narrowly escaped that uh, snake there, that's for sure. 
I swear I ran into it. Oh, it's a nice open field. Oh, can't go in there. That's a dead end. Oh, yeah, this goes back to that castle. Or dungeon. Ah. There we go. Okay, let's just play around in here. Now, I'm assuming, I think, with the hidden... Now, let's look at the mate. The... Yeah, that doesn't give you any information. The map? For hidden rooms? Um... I need a pink key. Okay, I'm gonna write this stuff down. Because <laughs> I will definitely not make it through this game trying to memorize everything that's going on. Ooh, graph paper would be nice. Graph paper would be nice, but I don't have graph paper. So, I'm gonna make do. Oh, sorry about bumping that. Let's get something to write on. Second. Okay, got some to write on. And now I just need something to write with. Where's my nice pen? There it is. Okay. Okay. Top left. This is the Goblin King's Lair, it says. So obviously, this is the end of the game. And that dragon protects it, so I'm going to label that uh, Goblin King's Lair. And I need Pink Key. Okay, so that's no good. Can I just hit a wall? No, hitting a wall does not open any secrets. Not there anyway. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, back out. Now I am going to actually map this out. Oh. And then down one is there. Is that a good map? No, it's a terrible map. Okay. Let's do it by dots and then block off areas that I cannot go through. And a little door for doorways. Let's go back up. To the right is open, and to the right is open there. Okay, so I am doing a map because this is crazy. And then to the right is open, and all four corners are open, but I can't actually go through it, except for the middle. So I am going to kind of draw that like that. So you can see what I'm doing there. Just drawing it so I can uh, figure out how to get through. So if I go up, around, and down, I'll end up here, and that is perfect. Okay. So that is blocked along the top, but not blocked along the right. And then the next one over is blocked along the top. Let's go safe in here. This one's completely open. And the one above that is blocked along the top. OK, 
Okay, since we're mapping, ah, let me just, ah, nope, oh, I can kill him wraparound style. Come on over here, come over to the right, come on, come on, try your luck. Nope, okay, that is open. Oh, right into him. Ah! That's... Oh, I need a safe... I need a safe space. Um, blocked along the left. Oh, god damn it. This is probably in the wrong spot. That is in the wrong spot. Damn it. Need an eraser. Anybody have a pen eraser? This is terrible. Okay. Open. That's down. Okay. Open. Down. That one is blocked. Along the left. Okay. Blocked on the left, open to the right, blocked on the bottom. Ugh, can I get reprieve here? Ugh, terrible. Blocked on the bottom. And then next one is blocked on the bottom. Ugh. Yep. Definitely blocked on the bottom. You need to die. First, if I kill him, he'll just reappear. Blocked on the top. There we go. <sighs> blocked on the bottom and top on that one. And then this one goes into an open. in the middle, along the bottom and top. And we should be on the very left of the map, which it looks like we are, but I am not going to guarantee that. Okay, so that is essentially a dead end all the way to the left here. Just because you can't go up or down there. Can't go down there. Now we're gonna go to the right here. And that is blocked on the bottom and right. Blocked on the bottom and the right. If we go up, that is blocked. That is like a bridge shape. is out in the open. Completely open. Excellent. And then we go to the right and it is kind of blocked with water making a path which I'm just gonna fill in. So let's go up and that should be the top of the map to the top, which it is. Which is blocked along the top. And kind of blocked with water along the way. Then we'll go to the left, that's blocked along the top. Good. Left and down. Yeah, this is all good. Okay, let's go down. And that's completely open. And then go down again. That is blocked along the left, which coincides with the map. So it's not like one of those text adventures where if you go south and south, 
and then go north and north you don't end up in the exact same spot again because you don't have to but on this one thankfully they are doing it properly so that one is along there and it is a t-shape right yeah so kind of bisects the screen like that with water this is going to be super helpful oh my god we'll never i i don't think we'll finish the game this uh episode but at least we'll have a map okay and then it continues down and that's an open field but that's still water impassable water yeah let's go down and that is blocked and that is still going down good so you can see the map now getting filled in getting filled in and then soon we'll know exactly how wide the map is and that is blocked there and another one of full water impassable water now, was there boots that you could get that you could walk on the water? Am I thinking of Panky the Panda? Winged boots. No, winged boots, you can walk over water and lava. So once we get those, that will be very helpful and we can ignore the water. So let's go to the left here. And that is another blocked area on the left. Let's go down and it's another full screen of bisecting water. Let's go over and down. Ah, and that is... Let's go down and it's snakes and an opening. Oh my god, there's no rest here. Snakes and an opening. And a shooting spider. Okay. And this is where the water stops. And there's an opening to get through. It doesn't stop, it just creates an opening. Then there's a wall on the left. Okay. Let's stay on the left and finish off the left-hand side of the map. Okay, this is a spider. There's a wall. And then there's a wall on the left. And the bottom. Okay, just need some, there we go, Whew. okay. Wall on the left, and on the bottom. And the river goes all the way to the bottom. And that is the bottom of the map, I'm going to guess. So right now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big surprise, eight. Uh, and I'm going to guess that well, that is the very... So we're going to have to go back up and around. And finish off the bottom left of the map. So that we need to go up all the way to the left. Along here. All the way to the left where the dungeon is. And then... Oh, actually, one to the right, and then down. Oh, damn it. Oh, we can't get through there. There's a rock. I'm just going to put a, an X for a rock. Make a little legend. X equals rock. And was there dynamite? Seems out of place in this game, but you need something to blow it up. Yep, dynamite. So we need that to get past the boulder. Okay, so that's why we can't map the rest of the bottom left. So that is it for that. And now we're gonna be mapping out, whoa, 
Whoa. It gives you a little bit of time before um, it starts killing you. <laughs> okay, so now we follow the water all the way down. Whoa, whoa! Let's get some health points. Uh, or just waste health. Uh, we'll get them. Okay, one more. Come on. And this is new. This isn't a good screen to get health on. Uh, and it's over there. No, I didn't even think of that possibility. Anyway, let's let's get these snakes out over here. Ugh. There we go. Okay, and that's safe. Okay, so let's go right down to the bottom and start mapping the bottom of the map. Okay, so here we are at the bottom. Let's go over to the right. And that is a screen that is fully open. Let's just be safe over here. That's fully open, except for the bottom, which is the bottom of the map. And there's a pretty easy monkey. So maybe I'll get some, get some health from this monkey. Or arrows. See, I'm not killing the monkey. I'm making him. I'm, I'm making him run away and drop the food that had that he has in his hand. You know. So he's not. He's not. Ugh, starts over. He's not suffering at all. He just gets scared and runs away. And I'm going to die. Okay. Let's maybe shoot the monkey with arrows. Oh, I need health very badly. running lower on arrows now, so let's use the sword. No monkeys were harmed in the making of this game. Nope, they are digital monkeys. They're made of ones and zeros, and they just run away. I'm just mapping right now. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Now what happens? Okay, it does remember exactly where I was. Okay. Yeah, no monkeys were harmed. Just digital monkeys here. Ugh. Okay, let's get to the bottom again. Follow the river. And, you know, the irony... Ugh, the irony of mapping... Oh, getting caught in the water. Of mapping this out is just like... That's funny. <laughs> just like in school. What is... What? What is... That's not what it looks like from the other side. What is happening there? Oh, it does. I don't remember mapping that. Wait a second. Okay, opening. What is happening? What is happening? That's not how it is. I have made assumptions. I have made assumptions. Okay. That is not correct. It's not eight high. If you look, when you go down here, you think it's eight high. But then when you go down here, it's actually further. Okay. So I need to redraw this and open up that a bit more. So that's the opening. Goes down one. Then it goes down another. Okay, so that continues on. <clears throat> goes down another, and then there's a wall there. Okay. And that's open. So maybe there is another entrance. Dad, damn it. That continues down. Oops. And then it stops. I'm gonna have to redraw this map because it's now a mess. Okay, 
and then it's over to the left and there's a dungeon aha okay and then there's a wall there and a wall and a dungeon now since we have the chance let's just take a look and it's dark <clears throat> And I'm going to label that as well. And that's a dungeon. And you need light. So I don't go back there without a lantern. <clears throat> oh, my throat. That's good I brought some water today <clears throat> okay so let's <clears throat> go back up and around and continue mapping because now we've hit the end okay those guys are easy to avoid they're on a pattern ah, ah stuck in the water okay go down okay, that's that one that's that one. Oh, that's open and then down see that I mapped that wrong as well because I didn't follow the water so the water is like totally different okay let's map that and that's the bottom and then that's open weird why did I put so there's no wall there let's get to a safe spot there we go there's no wall there it's just open none of that Terrible. Okay, let's get some health from the monkey. Or die. Or arrows. Okay. Now if I... Oh, got stuck. Come on, stuck monkey. Give me your... Give me your food. No, not arrows. Food! Adve an Anguna adventure needs food badly. Not badly, but I do need it. Come on. Give up the goods. Give up the goods. No! Bad monkey. Give me nothing. Ugh. Oh, too close to the edge. Yay! Just one more. Then I'll continue on. Come on, monkey. One. You just take three hits. Ugh. And three hits are going to get me down to where I was before again. Come on, monkey. Impressive game. First time I've had contact with it. It is a very um, extensive game. Because um, the first time I was playing, playing it, I played it for just like a few minutes. Like before I did this first stream. And it was a couple dungeons and a couple monsters. And I was like, oh, is this just random, random dungeons, random dungeon crawler? But there, then I bought, that was before I bought the game. Um, and, and I was just looking at it. Oh, they dropped it right on top of me. And um, every time I went into the room, I went back into the room, it respawned the monsters. So I thought, oh, this is just a, a small dungeon crawling monsters ever appearing kind of game and and i usually don't like games where if you defeat the characters the enemies in a in a room that they respawn because it's like no i've cleared this room i know i've defeated all the monsters and i'm done well now i've forgotten where i'm mapping that's okay um i like you know rooms where it has static information but obviously it's a little bit hard if you don't have a lot of RAM <laughs> to store all this information. You'd have to put RAM on the cartridge for sure. Okay, so that is another room with the bottom open. With the one next one over with the t three, two monkeys. Oh, the cats are revolting. And then one that is closed. Okay. Closed off at the top and bottom. Monkeys. I have to kill these monkeys. Ah! Come 
Come on, monkeys. Okay. The next one over is closed at the top and bottom. Good. Let's go over to that one. Just showed up. Have you seen the status map screen by changing the color black and white switch? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, very impressive. Um, this is this is great. This is what really makes the game. That you're able to have all this information and even to have these stats rather than a simple, oh, you have three health and you're dead. No, this is this is really, really good. Experience six, arrows ninety-two. Yeah, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. But right now I am mapping the game. Okay, good. And then that opens up again because I, for one, have a terrible memory, and for two, it is, ah, damn it. For two, it's not a small map. <laughs> it is a not a small map. And then this one is, Does that guy come after me? Not really. So this one is open on the next one's open on the bottom, or closed on the bottom, open on every other side. Okay. And then this one is closed on the top, which has a dungeon. Okay, good. Ooh, I drew that too big. That's okay. Yeah, mapping it out. Um, now do I need a lantern for this dungeon? Yes, I do. So let's put an arrow, dungeon, need light, because I really need that light. It's, I hope the light is not actually in one of these dungeons. That'll be so frustrating. Okay, so that one is another top and bottom closed. Okay. Hate these bugs. That one is closed on the bottom and right and has a shield in it. So I'm going to draw the water. Should draw a little tiny shield. And draw water around it. Color it in. And then make a little arrow. Um, okay. Shield. In. Water. Need boots. Now this takes me back. <laughs> doing all this takes me back to when I had a Commodore 64. Um, when I was playing Ultima one, two, three, four, and having to map and draw and write out everything because it it's not like modern games where you have like a, a log of what's happening. And uh, Gao says, you might have to brave the dungeon before getting the light, but I promise it's short. Oh, you're giving me hints. But it's starting to look like that because every dungeon I've encountered so far has been dark <laughs> and that's not good. Um, so, so far, this looks like the bottom right corner. Let me verify that on the map. And also, there's a map here, which is unbelievably awesome. Yes, I am on the bottom right corner. So, let's show you what I've got in the map. It's a little messy. Uh, let me switch it over. One second. There you go. Let me bring it up a little bit. Yeah, see the shield? Right there. Shield and water needs boots. Dungeon need light. And there's the rest of it. So still a little bit more to map here. Let's go back and start mapping the right hand wall. Okay, so that is two vertical. So counting, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 140. Oh, 
Let's switch it back. 140 different screens. That is amazing. That's a big world for a 2600 game. Okay, so that's up. And I've mapped that. And that is just on the right-hand side. So let's go back to safe. Okay, that's just on the right-hand side. So now... Uh, yeah, it does give you a little bit of time when you get on the map. They thought of that. Which was nice because... And that one's totally blocked off. On the right and left. Because sometimes you go on the screen like I was just got, got onto a screen. And the guy's right on you. It's, it's random where they start on the screen. And he would have done some damage to me right away. So I think there's like a two or three seconds of invincibility as soon as you come on the screen. I don't know if that's... You can use that to your advantage at all. But it's there. So this one has a rock, which I'm using X's for. Which I need the dynamite for. Ugh, stray hair. So that is the end of that little section. So let's go to the left here. Which is a top and bottom. So that's top and bottom. I always like going back to a safe screen because I have to reach over and flick. And also if you watch... Ugh, ah, stop it. Watch if I, when I go from the bottom to the top, it puts me into, it, it knows that this is a special screen and it puts me in, in a specific spot knowing that that's where the door is. So I'll try and show you. So if I go here and go up, it'll put me in the middle of the screen. Very smart. Okay, so let's go over, go over one more just a snake so that's not too bad I think I can I think I'll shoot this snake okay now I'm safe and this is top and bottom again map that out now he has said there's secret walls I'm gonna have to do that at another time or actually after I map it out I'll be able to know where the secret walls are because I'm sure he didn't waste any squares on empty rooms. Okay, so that's at the top. Oh, I bet this is a secret door. Nope, guess not. Okay, so that is blocked on the top, but not left, right, or bottom. So let's just go down to map out this room, which is blocked on the right. Aha! Uh -huh. So there is a little section right here, as you can see, where it has no way in right now. There is a dungeon, but let's just try and get there. I don't know if, ugh, get out of here. I don't know if you have to hit, hit the, Oh, find an opening like just walking into it. Ah. Or or smacking it with your sword. Uh, nothing there. There's the dungeon. Uh, um, maybe you have to. Maybe the dungeon is like that's what it is. It's those two squares. But there's one more wall here. No, I've done this wall. So, maybe you can't get in there? Okay, let's continue on. Let's go up and to the left. And that's another wall. Okay. Get out of here. Maybe I should kill this guy. Need a little bit of health. The cave is those squares. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm just going to get this guy. And get some health. This guy is easy to kill. And you don't get any better health from harder guys to kill. So what is the point of... What's the point of killing a hard guy for health when you can kill an easy guy for health? 
It only takes one hit. Of course, oh, now I have 99 arrows. That's a good thing. Now I have 99 plus... Actually, did I go to this screen and it showed more arrows? No. Still 99. So what is the point of killing a hard shooting guy that moves super quick for arrows or health when you can kill one guy and get arrows or health? Yay! Just one more health. And then I'll take a look at this dungeon. Or cave, or... They classified it as two different things. Dungeons, uh... Oh no, just dungeons. No, they're all dungeons. Okay. And then one over to the left is a dungeon. And I will mark that down. Okay, good. And let's go back and map down here, which is a wall on the left. And I need to map the one over. No, I don't. I've already done that one. Is this the secret way? No. And then I'll mark that. Okay, so that is the right and down, which is already on my map as such. Now let's see what this one is. Ah! What? Totally unfair. What? This must be an exit. Ah! What? That's an exit? Weird. Okay, I'm gonna do a little line there. Dungeon. Exit. And I'll put a question mark and cross that out. Oh, gotta run, thanks for playing. Is this your game? Is Gao? Is this you? Who is, it? Who is this programmed by? Nathan Tolber. I don't know. Who are you? Um, yeah, you must be the programmer. Because you know everything about it. Gow, gow, gow. Well, thank you for dropping in. Um, and it's good that you were um, alerted to this, because I didn't... I forgot to post... Usually I post it in the thread of the game on Atari Age forums when I'm going to play the game. But I did not this time. Now... Oh, prison dungeon. Prison? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, this looks like the exit. Oh, now I have to defeat that guy again. Okay, up. Let's just look through here just a little bit. I know that it opens doors when you kill guys, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this looks like... Whoa. This does look like... Let's just map the overworld. Let's just stick to the plan. And now what the hell? What? Oh no. Ugh. Now I'm in trouble. No. Okay, not gonna do this. I am going to... Just run back. I know, I know, I know. I should fight my way out, but that's not what I'm doing right now. Oh boy, where am I? Oh, what? What? How did I get here so quick? What? Whatever, that's fine. That's fine. If I go up and up again, and up again, yeah, that's the stone. What? That's really weird. Is there like warps? What is going on? Anyway, okay, let's find our way back. And one more over should be the dungeon I was just in. Or two more over. There we go, okay. Okay, let's map along the river. Okay, so that one is an open area. Good. That one, phew, well, that was close. That one is blocked on the right. Ah, ah, ah. 
Too many things. Okay. Blocked on the right. There we go. Over, up. Blocked on the right. Dot, dot. Okay, up. And then up. Blocked on the right again. Some slow moving monkeys. So I can kind of map. Blocked on the right again. Let's just check on the left. That's open. That's fine. And that one is blocked on the left and right. Okay. Let's just go to the left and up. And that's blocked on the oh, top and right. What? Where am I? Now I'm confused. Up. Okay. That's that one. That's that one. Okay. That is blocked on the top. Now if we go through here, go through here. Oh, that's another left and right. Slow moving monkeys. Allows me to map. I'm not going to defeat three monkeys for one health. That's ridiculous. And then the next one is... Oh, what? Ah! Monkeys! Sorry, I had to give get monkey revenge. Uh, that one's open. Ugh. That one's open. This map's getting messy. Ah! Monkeys are after me. That one's open. We'll go up. Ugh. That's blocked. Good. Uh, now I'm super confused. Okay. This one must be here. Yes. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So that's blocked. And then there's a river cutting through center there. Let's draw that river. And we'll go down and then the river curves and joins up. Good. And is blocked on the bottom. Do not forget that. Okay, blocked on the bottom. So, if I go to the left, it should be the river and going down. Yes, it is. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. That's nice and safe. Okay. Let's go up to the top and map out the top of the screen now. Okay, so that one is blocked. Good. The map is actually more open than you would think. Um, and that one is blocked on the top. Ah, ah. And then, ah, the snakes. They do go after you. Maybe if I stay there, I'll be fine. Blocked on the top, and then this one. It's blocked on the top and the right. Good. I wonder if I can shoot these snakes. And they give me nothing. And that is open except for the bottom. Let's try and avoid them while I draw. There we go. Okay, let's go to the right and continue on mapping. Ugh. That's blocked on the bottom. 
it open on the top. Let's just go up. There we go. Blocked in the bottom, but open on, just, just blocked in the bottom. Okay. And then this is another dungeon, which is blocked on every side, but down. And let's see what this is. And it is open. I mean, not dark, I mean. Oh, it's dark. Let's not do that right now. Let's label that dungeon. Uh, need light. And now Gao says that we will have to brave the, you might have to brave the dungeon before getting to the light, but I promise it's short. Okay. So that's good. Okay. So, uh, the dungeon and then down to the right is open except for the bottom. Yeah, this map scale is getting all funky. Very, very funky. It's getting bad. Oh. And then over up is blocked on the... Over up is blocked on the right, uh, left and top. Okay. Now, that's blocked on the top and bottom. At least I know how to defeat the snakes and hide from the snakes now. Let's see. That, 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 that. And there should be only one more to the right now. After this, I mean. Ah, ah. Oh, I can't believe I avoided that. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Now we have mapped... Three corners, because one I can't get to because there is a rock in the way. But now let's, now I can see the map. It's getting there and I just have to map this section. And I am golden. Okay. At least that's a nice reprieve. I can go back to there. So that is blocked on the right. Only. Ah. And that is blocked on the left and right. And it has a rock. So we'll draw that rocky thing in. Yeah, this map, I will redraw this map. And then we'll go to the left and that is left, up and to the left is blocked on the top and bottom. Okay. So that is totally blocked off that section. So I have to go back up around and then down and see what we have. Okay. And that is open. Yep. Ugh. Like I have mapped. Ran right into that one. Need some health soon from some single monkeys. Any single monkeys out there? Ah! Whoa! 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 Okay. I need to find my bearings. Where am I? Okay, I am by the water. I need to go to the right, down, and then to the right. To the right, down. Oh, I can't. There's two monkeys here. What is happening? To the right and down. It's blocked on the left and right. Is that correct? To the right, down. Have I not been there? I've been there. To the right and down. <coughs> monkeys to the right and down okay so that means I should go to the right to the right and 
That is blocked on the bottom. Okay. That means I have fully mapped out everywhere possible now. So let's go find some single monkeys, get my health up, and go for a dungeon. Go for a dark dungeon and die. Oh, or I can get this guy. This guy's nice and slow. Oh. Whoa. Come on, monkey. Oh my god, he hit me one more time. Oh, it's two monkeys. What? 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 That's weird. I'll, I'll just use this guy. This guy is easy enough. He's pretty much like a monkey. Oh. I was trying to press the button. Oh, I need health really badly. Come on, guy. Pull through. Drop some food. Drop some food. Come on. Nothing. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Out of danger? Not much. Out of a little bit of danger. Oh my god. Even with the simplest guy. Just get touched too close. Oh, that one got him. Come on. Don't need arrows. Maybe I should just use arrows to get them. There we go. Two more foods. Oh, that's much easier. Much easier. Oh my god. Two or three more food. Yeah, this is way easier. Oops. And I'm going to go down because there's monkeys instead of those crazy things. Oh. Oh. Oh, I have a dull gun. How did I fire the gun? Or maybe the graphics messed up. So it's like a tiny little, tiny little bullet. Oh, I'm running low on the arrows now. There we go. One more food. Oh. There we go. My arrows are okay. Maybe I should get one more. One more arrow. Good. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Let's go to the dungeon at the bottom right. And... Oh, no. Let's go to the one that's... Let's go to the one that's labeled Second Dungeon. Um, because Gao, Gao, Wao, Gao, Wao, Gao Wao said that you do need to... Whoa, you do get a couple seconds. <laughs> Let's go right to the top. That you do need to walk a little bit before you get the light. And then it's down, and then up. There we go. See, having a map, totally helpful. Okay, this is it. This is the second dungeon. <clears throat> so I'm gonna label that. Aha, 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 aha. So that dungeon exit I found before actually is the a dungeon exit. Because on the map, <clears throat> it shows the prison dungeon and a place that I can't get to now. Um, so I'm going to label that prison dungeon exit. Prison dungeon exit. And so I could go into the prison dungeon exit and get to the pr prison dungeon entrance and explore that realm, but I'm guessing I don't need to. But I will eventually. But let's brave this area and try and find the light. Oh, there's a baddie. Oh, stay in this room for a second. Oh, oh, 
or not. Get the hell out of here. It's good I have full health. Oh my god. Ah! Just about. Just about. Ah! Oh my god. What the hell? There's like no doors. There's nowhere to go. Oh, I have to kill these things. That's right. This is terrible. What does this look like? No, it looks good. How am I going to do this? Okay. Okay, got him. Or I hit him once at least. Now, did a door open, please? Or he dropped... Oh, I didn't. There's two of them. Did I get both of them now? Please, a door open or drop the lantern or something. Uh, oh, oh, that's a new room. Okay, good. It's health. That's an empty area. So there's only one. There's only one. That's good. Okay. Did I get hit? I think I got hit. No. Okay, good. But I promise it's short. Okay. What is this? Empty room. Oh. Oh, secret doors. Good. Oh, do I have the gold key? Let's just kill these guys. Why not? I do have the gold key. Good. Oh my god. Reappearing ghosts. Let's go over here. Two dudes. Ah. Let's just do... Oh my god, what is this? Oh, please let this be good. I don't know what this is. Is that a lantern? It shows it as black in here. Why is it red in the game? Well, whatever it is. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Yes, the lantern. Oh. Finally. Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. Now I will not have to be in the dark anymore. <clears throat> um, so that's where you get light. Light. Okay, good. So that second dungeon. I'm gonna redraw this after, and make sh and then uh, if nobody's posted it, I will post it um, when I'm done the game for people who need it. And there's the code in case the uh, Atari Vox does not remember it. Oh, secret door. Now, I doubt there's anything else in this dungeon. But there might be. There might be. Oh, this looks like the room that I started in. Yeah, this looks like the room that I started in. But I didn't go everywhere. Whoa! That's cool. That's not. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, awesome. That's a new mechanic. Oh my god. Stupid. Stupid me. Running when I shouldn't be running. Ah, ah. It's best just to avoid those guys. Uh, hmm. Is there maps in here? No. Oh, it's purple. Oh, is there a map? No, no, no. That's the, that's the world map still. Uh, 
Let's go up. I'm lost. I am lost. Terrible with maps. Oh, okay. We're back out. Exactly where we came in. Well, I got what I wanted to get out of there, but there are six keys to get. And I did not get to get a key, so I should go. Until it goes horizontal. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's where I came from, wasn't it? Maybe I missed something. Oh. Oh! Terrible. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Okay. This should bring me back. What? Oh, this is... What? I do have the lantern, right? Okay. So this is, this is fine. This is where I was. Okay. That's all good. Ah! Ah! Wasting so many arrows. Ah! It's good he's purple first. Come on. Oh, now he goes horizontal. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, let's do it again. Not be stupid this time. Don't get caught on corners. Be right in the center. That's why. I have to go quick. Okay. I do have to kill this dude. Now I think I'm still going in circles. Maybe I didn't go e each direction here. Oh, maybe there is only one direction. Oh, nope. There's a shooting dude here. I haven't encountered too many of those guys. Come on. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. These guys haven't been very good with giving out the health either. There we go. Speak of the devil. There's two in here. Ah. Oh, you just walk right through. There must be a key. Oh, I don't think I've been here. I think I have been here. Oh my god, it's so confusing. Do I have to kill two of these guys? This is nightmarish. Oh. They stun. They get stunned. Oh. Oh, I'm almost out. And I get nothing. Nothing at all. Let's check on something. Okay. Have I found everything in here? I think there's a key in here, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to exit out of this dungeon. Now that I've got the lantern, I can't imagine that there's more than one thing per dungeon. We'll see. But I know where all the other dungeons are now that are accessible to me. And I'm going to go for the other dungeon that I have on my map. I think this is the exit. There we go. Okay. Now I'm at the top here. And I'm going to go for this bottom one here. Oh, let's get that there. Actually, I'll switch so you can see that a bit better. Um, yeah, I just got the lantern from this dungeon. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom and go to this dungeon right here. Because 
That seems like the next next logical one. So it's over to the left three, down all the way, or almost all the way. So left, Let's see if I can do that, yeah. One way you can kind of, ah, oh my God. Even I'm not be able, being able to do it, uh, is that because you are invulnerable for about three, two or three seconds when you get on the screen, if you could, if you alternate back and forth <laughs> between screens as you're going up or down, you can be kind of invulnerable, weaving your way all the way. Oh, sorry. There we go. Back. I magically teleported to the next dungeon. Anyway, I went through like six screens, um, and I got hit once. Okay. So now we're at another dungeon, and we do have the lantern now, so it should not be dark and terrible. No, no, not this one. This is not the one I meant to go to. This is the exit of the prison. But at least I can get out easy-ish. Oh, bonus. Bonus health. Oh, I don't have very many arrows. Yeah, this is the prison. No, I need to go over two, down two, and over two. Okay. Down, over. See, like this. If I keep going like this. Actually, I should get some arrows right now. There we go. Use up one, get five. Good trade-off, unless you get zero. And zero. Okay, I'm just gonna use my use my sword. There we go. Let's get that up to um, 99. Let's do some farming, some grinding. Because arrows are super useful in the dungeons, because most of the baddies are not like these easy dudes. They are much harder. There we go. 67 arrows. And the arrows go through walls, unlike your sword. Actually, your sword does go... Oh, your sword goes on the other side of the screen, if you can use it like that. Um, but arrows are good in dungeons because you don't have to be right next to the guy. Ah! Ah! It's a good play mechanic here where your arrow or your sword is the last direction that you moved in. So it, uh, kind of emulates a two-stick, modern two-stick controller with just one. I mean, that's that's the way they did it back in the day when you only had one button, one button or even two buttons. Um, not so good for those games like Smash TV where you actually needed, or Robotron, uh, where you actually needed two sticks to do it really well. 82, we're almost there. And we're keeping full health, which is another bonus of just racking up arrows and health. Because, oh my god, terrible. Gives me good practice, too. Okay. Almost there. And hopefully, there is a key in the next dungeon. Because the ultimate goal is to get the pink key for the goblin's lair. One or two more, and I will be ready. One more, I think. No, two more, because you get five arrows. Unless it changes, but five arrows per pickup. Seems to be pretty consistent, though. 92 to 97, yeah. So one more, just for good measure. Okay, there we go. And it should be over to... Should be down all the way, and then over to the right. So that's down all the way. Over one, and one more. Yes. Okay, ready. So let's just do a save here. And it's a good mechanic where you can do a save by just looking at your inventory screen. Um, actually, let's look at the inventory screen again. Um, so our sword of two, shield of one, not so great, but I know where there's another shield, but I need the water walking boots first. So maybe I'll get the water walking boots 
in here. Maybe another key. I have two keys, gold and silver right now. I need a pink. I don't remember any other colors right now. So let's go in now that we have the lantern. And that opened a door to the right. And before I couldn't even see what I was doing and getting killed instantly. Uh, okay. What's, what's going on here? Hidden doors? What? What? That's it? That's the whole thing? That's the whole dungeon? There must be a hidden door on the other screen. That's not right. Maybe it's up here? Maybe this is open? What? What? Is this a trick? What is happening? Let's try this room again. This must be a trick. Oh, I just shot an arrow accidentally. Come on. I think this hidden doors are you just walk through. Because I swear I walked through one already. Okay, well, that is... Uh, there's nothing here. That's disappointing. I'm going to write that down. Just as a note. Small... Two-room dungeon. Okay. Just so I know. Okay, there is... Another one to the left, so let's do that dungeon next. Oh, whoa! And that's all the way to the left, and then up across the water. See how I ran right through that monkey. See how I, how you get about at least one second, at least one second of free time. Okay, and then it's down all the way. Ah, that was about one second, yeah. <laughs> and then I continue to walk out right on top of them. Okay, so this is another dungeon, and I did need the light before. See how nightmarish this would be without the light? And pretty much you do want to kill everything in every room because it opens up a door. Whoa. Okay. This one's not too bad. Now that I've encountered ones with two of these dudes in it. Up. And I don't think you can kill these. Let me just try. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it just goes right through them. I didn't think so. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's good I loaded up on arrows. These guys take four hits, I think. But they don't chase... They can only go in right angles, so that's... Ah, come on. So that's at least easy. They're like... Come on. Okay, now they're all kind of combined together. Oh, just one more dude left. Oh, dynamite! <gasps> that opens up so much stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Small dungeon. This is where you get the dynamite. Dynamite here. Um, how many rooms is this? Like four rooms. Four rooms only. I'll just count backwards as we go out. So Dynamite says it enables you to destroy boulders and other invincible enemies. Now I have not encountered an invincible enemy yet. Um, so I'm not sure how you even use the dynamite. Maybe you just press the button near the invincible enemy. Okay, one screen. Still do have to go back through this. This is the second screen. Actually, let's check for hidden room. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why you'd go down there. Second screen. And third screen. There's nothing here. Gotta check for keys. So far I've been loading up on items. Okay. It's a third. Just three screens. 
three rooms only. Okay. Now, if you look on the map, let's show, show you the map here. There's a bunch of boulders. There's a boulder here, boulder here, boulder here. So there's three boulders. But I think I want to go... Where am I right now? I am right here. So I think I'm just going to trace right over to the right and uh, go up here. Because that is the looking like the simplest plan right now. And then I'll destroy that boulder, or I'll see how I can destroy that boulder. Okay, so I'm there, go straight to the right and then up. Or, no, go around the water, then back down, and then straight to the right. Come on, snakes, get out of my way. So most enemies I just want to really avoid. Because the only thing they give you is arrows and oh there's two guys there arrows and food and the monkeys take like apparently four hits i thought it was just three um but i may want some more arrows oh here's my farming area my blob farm health it's always good I just need a little bit more arrows. Now I'm getting health when I don't need it. Of course. I swear these games are programmed so it knows. It's like, oh, is he at full health? Let's crank up the percentage of him getting health more than arrows when he needs actually arrows. I don't need arrows. I've got 79. Look, three healths in a row. That's ridiculous. 84. More health. Can't stack them up in my inventory. 89. Well, now I need health. There we go. I think that gave me health because I just I think I went down a health and then I killed it and went up a health. Uh, more health. I just need two more arrow packs. One more arrow pack. Ugh. Okay, good. Okay. Let's go to the boulder. And let's see how the dynamite works. Because I have no idea and it doesn't say how to do it. So that is where I need the boots. Right here. To get across to get that shield. Which will help. So I don't die so quickly. Okay, now the boulder's just up a couple screens. See, see what I told you? That as soon as I start writing this out, I start to memorize it. Okay, so here it is. So I should, what I'm predicting is to get rid of the boulder is just use my sword. Yeah, I knew it, be automatic. Now I can start mapping again. This hidden little area, oh my God. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? Anyway, I was just farming. Um, and now I actually want it back. Now I'm going to fill in this area right there. You guys got to tell me. You got to tell me when I leave it on there. Otherwise you're just watching my face stare at a screen. Oh, yay. Okay. Okay, so that has blocked on the left and the right and it has a little shield as well so now let's draw that in shield let's get that shield nice no hidden doors no it's usually not hidden doors and that's another little wooded area that's kind of nice oh i bet I bet it just goes right through to the other boulder. And there's no way to get in through here. No. 
It's going to go to the other boulder. There we go. Anyway, at least that is now destroyed and there's an easy path to or along the right, which, you know, I don't need to get anymore. Oh, the boulders just come back, but not a big deal. I can just smack them away. It's a nice little reprieve in here. I can... Oh, they're just like an enemy now. That's funny. And it just... Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, dudes. The shield does not grant me the ability to walk on the water. So. Okay. I've done that dungeon. I've done that dungeon. I've done that dungeon. I've done the prison dungeon. And now I have to go to... The right-hand side there, where there's one more boulder. That's pretty small on your screen. And that is unmapped. So let's go along the bottom to the water. Go up along the water. I've done that dungeon. That was the two-room dungeon. Very easy. Got still full health. 99 arrows, so I'm still good. So I don't need to do any farming. Go till we hit the water. Then we go up and around till we get through. Watch out for snakes. Then we go up and to the left. Not that left. Up and around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big, huge spiders. Ah, ah! Not good. Not good at all. Oh, I'm here already. What? Okay. Let me just verify I am where I am. Yes, okay, that's the final castle. Okay. So, that is open on the left, which I already have mapped out, which is fine. And that is only open on the bottom. What? Which I don't map mapped out. What? Oh no, okay. It's only open on the bottom. No, I already have that mapped out because I could see these rooms from other rooms. Somehow. Okay, and I have already been here somehow. No, I still saw that because I, oh, because I came in through the right hand side and saw this. And it was the same with all the other ones. I just came in through a different way but couldn't get to the center where I want to be. Okay, so that is another room, but it's currently blocked off. So I will have to defeat dude, green dude. And these guys are really easy. Oh, that's a fast moving one. That's fine. Fast when he sees you. But he only goes a certain distance. So let's keep him on the horizontal. Oh, move up a bit, dude. Come on, just a little bit. Up. No. No. There we go. And he opens up to the bottom. So the right and left are sealed. I'm pretty sure. Let's just check. Oh, secret passage. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just make a little... Oh, I shouldn't have used a door. Oh well. Just make a little arrow. Secret passage. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So I'm going to keep tracking for secret passages now. <gasps> Another secret passage. Oh my god. I'm going to use an S now. So when I actually redo this map, I can actually figure out what the hell it is. So, S for secret passage. It's not for snake. I don't have the boots to walk in the lava yet. And that is open. Okay. So I'm going to do this first, because if I exit out of this room and come back in, I'll have to kill the guy again. Oh my god. What are these dudes about? Ugh. Four hits each? Oh my goodness. Okay, stay down there while I map. 
or what? Nope, nope, nope. Maybe I'll just defeat them first. Can be like that. Yeah, come on, come on. They're a bit random. They don't seem to be actually going. Wasting arrows. Ah! Ah! I'm stuck in the wall. Stay there. There. Okay. And this goes down and is blocked on the left and right. Ah. Okay, this is completely open. Now I know. Oh, I don't like either of those rooms. Ugh, let's just go in here. That one's completely open. Chances of those hitting me is very low. Let's just map out the water. And then down here is a completely closed off room. I've been very lucky. Those guys haven't come after me. Okay, so let's kill them? Ooh, I shouldn't have mapped out that this was completely closed off. Because chances are... Ugh, wasting so many arrows. Ugh. Come on, go horizontal. Come on. Come on. Ah! 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 So many arrows! Ugh. Ah! There we go, come on. Nothing. Nothing at all. What a waste of time. Okay. Let's go up. I'm not going to touch the lava. I'm going to go to the left. I do have that key. That's awesome. Okay. That one is closed off. Closed off. Closed off. I'm going to write that in. Have a little arrow. Need key. I'm gonna write down. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I don't have that key. What key is that? Gray key? Is that a gray key? Doesn't that look like I have it? Is it a light gray key? I'm gonna write that down. Light gray key. Light. Gray key. Because I seem to have the darker gray key, but not the light gray key. Oh, well, that's a dead end for now. So we go to the right and to the right again. I'm going to touch this. Nope. Just acts like water. Okay. It's kind of a stupid thing to do, but. And that is blocked on the top and bottom. Let's go to the right. Should I fill this in? Ah! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Do not leave. Oh, okay, it's open to the right. Hmm. But that just exits back out. <sighs> Where am I? Where am I? How can I be this far away? Okay. No, I'm not that bad. Not that bad. Do I have to kill this guy again? Ah. Ah. Let's get some distance. Okay, stay right there. Good. Oh, good. Arrows. I needed arrows. Oh, I have to kill all these guys again. Not hard, they're just... Oh my god. Oh my god! annoying because they don't have any pattern other than having no pattern the 
cats are baying at my door. It's so hot in here. Ugh. I have to open the window a little bit, I think. Oh, a knife. What is that? Attack power up. <gasps> Where am I? Oh, you know what? I didn't get those guys before. Or did I? That's really weird. I'm going to have to open the window. A little bit. Please hold and turn on the fan and have a drink of water. And that should cool me down a little bit. So there might be a little bit of white noise now. Where am I? Hmm. Okay, secret passage. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then it should be another secret passage. Yeah, okay. That is a knife power up. I wonder if that's consistent. I'm going to write that down anyway. Knife. Power up. I'm going to kill this guy. I think he opens the bottom. Yeah. Which I don't... Ooh. Do I want to do that next? No, I don't. I don't, I don't. I want to see what's over here first. That is lava. Which is pretty much the same as water at this point. Doesn't hurt you. Just looks different than water. All I did was color the water a different color. Which is smart. Oh, okay. So that is lava. And I need the boots to pass it, which I do not have yet. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. That is not a wall, so I can call her in that wall there. So now I need to go back up and around. Kill this guy, go down, try and defeat the super, super du duper hard dude at the bottom there. Let's just save this and it's funny that's how you save it because <laughs> i have decent health i don't have many arrows but i think i have enough arrows that i'm not going to be too upset just need to Ugh. But i'm going to use a lot of arrows on these dudes so let's try not to use too many i mean waste any do have a pattern so oh they're stuck they're stuck oh there we go some arrows okay now this should be down and then to the right to the right oh don't run into him to the right and avoid these guys whoa, 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 whoa. and then shoot this dude and stay far away from him oh forgot about that Boots. <sighs> boots, 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 boots. There is no passage there. There's no passage there. There we go. Boots. That's where you get the boots. Now, how am I going to draw this in? Um... I'll just write it in here, really tiny. So, I'll show you the map now. Check that out. You can see that's where I just got the boots, right in there. There's the lava that I'm going to walk across right now. Because I can, because I just got the boots. So let's go back. Sorry for that little switchy switch there. Boots! Okay, let's save it. There we go. Now there's only two more items I need to get. Ring of Attack, which would help. It says, greatly increases your attack power to prepare for you for the fight with the Goblin King. 
And I need, oh, uh, what else is there? Doesn't really show any, there's only, f there's only four. Why is there spaces? Maybe there's mystery stuff. Mystery. Uh, well, there's six keys, which is funny. I've still only found two. So that should save it. Now on to the lava. Okay, just avoid those guys because it's pointless because there is no rooms. We may come back later if I've been missing things. Oh, what? What? Oh, up. Ha, ha, ha. And then there's a secret passage up and over here. And now I should, I should be able to walk across this. Very cool. And a little bit slowly. That's very nice. Nice touch. Now this should be, yeah, still blocked, still blocked. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, still a wall. Let's see what's over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then... Yeah, and then it's down. Okay, yep. Yeah. Now, I'm guessing there's a key down there. Because... Because there has to be. Because <laughs> they've got all the items so far. Oh, it's a lever. <gasps> it's a lever. Let's put a lever in there. Lever. Okay. Let's switch it, switch it. There we go. And that does what? Opens a secret door? Let's read about the lever. Um, did it have a lever? Oh, lever, okay. And then here we go. This explains it, okay. Switches. In Anguna, you will find gray colored doors that are controlled by switches. So that wasn't a door. That was uh, a, that wasn't, sorry, a locked door. It was a gray door. So let's rename that. Gray door. Push. Lever. There we go. Super messy. Super messy. Uh, okay, let's continue on. To open it, you must find a switch, which I did, and hit it with your sword. Be warned, by flipping a switch, you will close some other doors at the same time. Ooh. Okay. All switches are on the same switch network. When you change one switch from gray off to yellow on all other switches also change from gray to yellow so there's more than one switch and there's more than one door and they're all interconnected switch some doors open when the switches are gray others when the switches are yellow right of course it's like having two light switches which are very confusing up on one is off and then now down is on on the other one you may have to backtrack and toggle switches multiple times to open and close the right doors to advance. So at least we know that there was a closed door that is now open, but now there's an open door that's now closed that used to be open, but we don't know where it was because it was just an open passageway before. Uh, now this should not have any openings because it's just a dead end on my map. Come on, terrible. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it's to the left, down, and to the left. Left. I have to kill this guy. Ah, ah, getting down in health. Oh, and I have to kill these. Oh, and I just... Should I go farming? No, oh, no, health is back. But my arrows are depleting very badly. Very badly. 
may have to farm. Maybe I'll... Ah! Okay, that was pretty decent. Ah! Okay, health, that's good. Arrows are bad. Down. Ah! To the left. And then there should be... Oh, it's just open now. Of course. Um... Let's kill that guy that's stuck, if I can. Yep. Let's kill this guy. Oh my god. With an arrow. Whoa! Just got major health. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna save. And that's how you save. <laughs> you switch the color to black and white. Okay. Am I prepared for what's going to happen? Actually, now I can map out this room which is just down and an open area at the bottom. Oh my god. Okay. So I need to get... These guys are easy. Especially when they... What? How did that go right through them? Especially when they bunch up. Why did you separate, you dudes? There we go. There we go. There we go. An arrow. So this one is closed on the left and bottom. And this one is closed on the bottom and top. These are not too hard as long as you don't mess up. They get a little tough in the middle, but this middle is not necessary to go through. Or you have to go up and around. That one is, that's always tough. Whoa, 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 flying bat that shoots. Not too bad, but I will have to use arrows on this one. Because it's just a little too hard. Ah, wasting arrows. Because he shoots, so I can't get close to him easily. Ah! Got stuck in the wall. Ah, maybe I should use my... No, I'm going to use my arrows and then go farming after. Got him, just barely. Shouldn't get so close to him. Ah, ah stupid. Seven. Six, five. Oh, his bolts got big for a second. Oh, three. Oh, one arrow left. Okay, let's make it count. Okay, that really didn't make it count. Okay. Ah. Ah. Gotta be more careful. Ah. Oh, getting close to him is so dangerous. Ah. Got to be dying soon. Got to get him on the... Damn it. Come on. Almost dead. I did save, though relatively recently. Okay, so last shot. Oh, that was close. Damn it. Okay. Let's continue. What? What? That's where I continued from? What? Did I throw the switch? Ah. Just a little too high. Ah. Ah. I should go farming, maybe. I am going to go farming. So let's exit out of here. Actually, do I have... Stop it. Stop it. 
Stop it. Yeah, I have the boots. I have the dynamite. I have everything. Yeah, okay. Did I throw the switch? I don't know. Let's get out of here and go get a lot of arrows. Because that bat is not dying anytime soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? No. Get out of here. Go to the water. Go to the water. And then down and across and then go to the monkeys. Not the monkeys. The one slow dude. One slow blob. And there's the monkeys. Oh, the one monkey. No, not the monkey. Yeah, there we go. I think it's a blob farming. I think it's over here, though. There it is. That's the guy I want to see. Hello, blob. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Get my arrows up. At least I've got full health. Don't have to worry about that. Although it would be a, just a natural side effect of killing this guy so many times. See? And then I will go back and go after that. Uh, I've forgotten what he was. It's a spider? It's a huge guy. Huge dude. Oh, the farming's not going well. There we go. 29. Come on. Ah, that's okay. Health. See what I told you last time? When you farm for arrows, it gives you health. When you farm for health, it gives you arrows. So maybe I need to wish for health. Please, give me more health. All I need is just one more health. Or it could give you nothing. Nothing at all. Or health. Yay! It's not what I wanted. I don't want arrows. No, no, no more arrows. Please stop giving me arrows so I can fill them up. Oh, terrible. See, it does work. No more arrows, please. Ow. I don't think I got anything there, but I hit to the head. Yay. I mean, boo. Arrows, terrible. Terrible arrows. These guys are great because they just hone right in on you at the exact right level for you to hit them. Oh. Apparently when you're invulnerable after getting hit, you're invulnerable to picking up things too. That's hilarious. Uh, 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 you're stuck. Oh, I shouldn't use an arrow. I should not use an arrow. If I'm trying to gain arrows and I can always kill them, with a hit, I should not use an arrow up. It's a waste of time, because these guys are easy to hit. Yay, more health! Yay, more health! Yay, nothing! No, my reverse psychology is stopping, stopped working. He's figured it out. He's totally figured it out. He's not giving up his arrows. Why would a blobby dude want arrows anyway? Yeah, why, why in all these adventure games do these creatures have, have arrows and gold? I can understand um, food, because they need to eat, so they drop their food and they run away, or they are food or uh, but having gold has a creature I guess you would have it from all the other adventurers you killed and you think it's shiny maybe if you're a crow 
but I haven't heard of any other animals ugh, taking um, shiny objects and keeping them like dogs and cats don't don't care for that or you know any other wildlife except for maybe some birds I think that's the only ones I've ever heard of taking taking things from from people we have a very famous crow in Vancouver called Canuck. You may or may not have heard of him. He got very famous a couple years ago. Um, he was already well known in Vancouver before this, but there was a crime scene, um, a stabbing in Vancouver, and Canuck the Crow, what he did, 92 arrows, is that he was on he came to the crime scene and he stole the bloody knife from the crime scene while the police were there and the police were not too happy about uh canuck stealing evidence from the crime scene as you can imagine but that made worldwide news um and he's super friendly crow and then he made news again not worldwide but at least uh, in, uh, in BC, Canada, when somebody hit him in the head uh, during, a, during a, soccer, uh, a soccer game they were having. They are trying to shoo him away or just be an idiot. And uh, yeah, they hit him in the head and he had to go to the hospital. And he's, he, that was like a, a year, a year and a half ago, but he's, he's fully recovered now, so he's fine. And then recently, another tragic thing happened to Canuck. Ow. Um, I mean, kind of good. He met, a, he met a, a female crow, and they had a nest, and they had some, had some baby crows. But unfortunately, they all... Oh, God damn it. They all recently, um, they all recently died. Um in the nest, unfortunately. Um, what? Oh, stop. Go up, over, down. There we go. Okay. Now we need to get back through a lot of stuff. Down and down. Then to the right after killing this guy. Ah. Oh, it's not hard. What? Oh, it's a secret door. Oh, should have just gone right through it. Uh, but I do have to get killed this guy to get to the bottom. And then down and to the right, to the left, I mean. Uh, oh my god. Okay, now don't waste arrows on this. Even though there is a lot of arrows to shoot at these dudes. And then down to the left. I can walk on this now. So can they. It just slows me down, so there's not much point. And then down. Come on. Come on. Are you just guarding it? Okay, fine. And then, what do I have to do now? And then down and to the left. Ugh, these guys, I don't want to shoot you. I am come in peace. Ah, I do have to defeat these guys to go down or to the right. And then it's time for death. At least I have a lot of arrows. Oh, nope. Oh, one more. One more screen. And that is big creature. That is a boss. I'm gonna I'm gonna label a mini boss there. What is it though? I forget. You guys remember what it was? What kind of creature it was? 
like a spider or something. I'm just gonna go in and out. Oh, it's a bat. I can't go in and out. Oh, bastards. Okay, don't get stuck in the bloody walls. Okay, don't waste the arrows. Don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, it's much easier vertically because he's wider. Okay, that's a good tactic. Shoot him vertically. <sighs> While trying not to get hit. Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Oh, he plans for where you are. Okay. Okay, just take it slow. There's no time in it. Lots of arrows. Lots of arrows. Ah. Some of them go faster than others, it seems. Oh my god, so annoying. Just take it slow. Nice and slow. 67 more arrows. Ah! Ah! Just gotta prep my direction. So annoying. Ah. And you have to hold it a certain length of time, too. Okay. 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 Let's label that bat boss. And I only got an arrow from it. Do not go back in that room. No matter what is across that door, do not go back in that room. Do not back into it. Okay, I'm labeling that one for sure. Bat boss. Bat boss. Well, let's get that arrow. Or is that an arrow upgrade? That doesn't look the same, does it? Ooh, no, just an arrow. No arrow upgrade. A whole five arrows. Whole five arrows, yay! Oh, the key, purple key. Okay. Purple key. Finally got the third key. Okay. Let's save that. Look at that. Three keys. Three keys now. Oh. Okay. What? The door to the left and the right. According to my map, the right exits out. It may be a one-way door. Uh, the left goes into a room I haven't been in yet. Oh, well, that's a one-way door too. So let's go to the left, which I predict will just be a empty, yeah, just a room. What? Do I have my map off? My map wrong? What, did he just teleport? What is happening with these dudes? How did that guy just... Ugh, wasting arrows. What was the point of that room? There's nothing here. Nothing. Oh well. It's a room. Now this should be a one-way door back out to the main map again. Very much like, uh, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> but now I have to get some health. Oh, no, what? What is happening? What? I'm very confused of what is going on here. <gasps> oh, what? That's, that exits out of the dungeon? I am 
Oh, 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 oh. I think I messed up this map. Um, how am I going to correct this? Uh, okay. What? Oh, I can go back in. Oh, the dungeons are part of the... Oh, the dungeons are part of the overworld. Yeah, see, I can't go... can't go back. Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay, okay. Diamite here. Three rooms only. What? Very confused. I'm going to have to redo this map. And then probably redo it again. Because that is very confusing. Now there should be water to the right. Yeah, okay, that's correct. There's some teleporting going on, or I didn't draw this correctly. Um, but that kind of exits out. Kind of exits out to the bottom. Okay. Okay, let's save here. There we go. Okay. Um, I think that is going to be the end of today. Because I finally got all of all of the items um oh actually one more did i get the shield in the water did i get the shield in the water no let's go get that one and then i will finish the game for the day um and i will get all my power up power back up so that i don't oh yeah i can walk across the water now nice nice Nice. But that monkey takes multiple hits. So I'm going to find my slow blob. Ah. Here's my nice slow blob that takes one hit. One hit. And gives you exactly the same. Come on. That's easier down than up. Ah, it's fine now. I need both things, so... I don't mind getting the uh, arrows and the shield. So I think this is going to be labeled part two of Anguna. And then we'll play part three on another day. Don't know when. Possibly next Friday, but... Maybe a little bit later. We'll see what the schedule... I haven't made up the schedule yet. This was the last of the pre-prepared schedule. Um, because actually I have, I have a new order of games that I need to do unboxing for. So I need to film the unboxing, which I was planning to do tonight. And then I can... Ah! Must not die. Um, and then I can plan out some of those new games. Um, and that will be fun because then I'll have some more selection to choose from. I also do have a lot on reserve listed in the Atari Age forum. Yeah, I do need some health. Only need one more arrow pack. Um, because I do have a thread in the Atari Age forum, um, where I list every episode that I've recorded and also upcoming episodes. This was the last of the upcoming episodes that I've plans for the games. Just need one more health and one more arrow. But yeah, I'll do the unboxing tonight. I have to. Just to get that box open. And then I can get that out of the way and plan some more games. Oh, I guess that was arrows because I have 98 now. Just one more health. One more health. One more health, little purple dude. Come on. Drop your food. There we go. Okay. Let's make our way over to the right where the shield is in the water that I couldn't get before. There's 
the dungeon. It's just straight over to the right and then down. Oof, fast moving. Ah, there we go. What? Oh, I was in, I was looking at a different dungeon. Okay. Now I can walk. There we go. We have the shield. Nice. Three sword, three shield. I should not be as easy to kill now, thank goodness. Okay, so at least if it doesn't save properly, um, I've got the the code on the screen that I can type in. But let's just try it out with the Atari Vox key. I'll reset. And password. See, it didn't it didn't work. What the hell? I'm gonna read that again. But I do have that, um, the code, so I will have to punch it in. Uh, okay, Tari Vox key, where is that section? If you're planning to take a break from playing Anguna, make sure you write down the password shown on the status screen. We got the status screen. So you can enter it and continue your game later. If you have a save key or Atari Vox plugged into the second player control port, which I do, your password will automatically be saved to the device when you view the status screen. Okay. So let's turn off the game completely. Oh, maybe you have to just press start? No. That's not it. It says it saved it. No, this. Like, what is going on? That's not where I what I saved. Do I have the three and three? I do. What the? Does it not save where you are in the world then? Because it has the right amount of stuff. I have the. I have the right key, and I have the right shields weird 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 and I have all the right health and the arrows but it didn't start me off in this place where I saved so is that the same code that I flashed on the screen before I reset oh well either way I am going to type it in next time so that maybe it saves where I am because it really should save where you are um, so that is part two of Anguna. We're almost there. I think one more session will do it. Uh, we have three keys. We have all the items. Um, actually, I have no idea where to go next. We have been in... We've gotten rid of all the rocks. Um, maybe back to the dungeons. I'm going to redraw this. And... Yeah, because this dungeon says it's a small two-room dungeon, which makes sense because there's just two rooms there. And then this one is a much larger dungeon. I'll switch away, switch over actually, so you can see this. There we go. So yeah, this one is a much larger dungeon, so it must be in here. And that's a two-part two-room dungeon. And I said this is a three-room dungeon, but I think I drew this area wrong. Like, it got it incorrect because I think it's also supposed to be shifted down a bit and then up and around, and that's the three rooms. Um, so I may go back in and redraw this and redraw this when we play next. And so I have a complete map of everything. And, uh, and then... We pretty much go into the Goblin King's lair. But it says I need a pink key. Pink key. No, it's purple. So I do have all the three keys that I need to get in. That must be a whole other section up here then. Like a whole other uh, realm once you get in there. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Um, so thanks for tuning in to another Friday edition uh, sorry, it was a, I was on my own. Nobody to banter with back and forth. Played Anguna. Super awesome game. And I think the creator came in. Gao. Um, 
because he the way he talked sounded like he uh, was the programmer. I will have to go on the Atari Age forums and look up his name because most likely it's the same on the forums as it is there. But it is uh, Nathan Tolbert. Tolbert? Tolbert? Tolbert. Depends on uh, whether you've anglicized it or not. And um, so the next one, I'll, actually I will be at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo tomorrow if you're in the Vancouver area. Um, so take a look for me there. And um, until next Wednesday, where we'll be playing some more games. Um, that is it for me. And then next Friday after that. So thanks for tuning in. And you can find us on YouTube as well under Zero Page Homebrew. Also Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all under Zero Page. Just search for Zero Page and it'll come up. Or Zero Page Homebrew. Because there's some other Zero Pagey things. Because it's a computer term. Um, a programming term. So when, until next Wednesday, I will see you then. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.